Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Games and Toys TV. And we are once again back with another episode of To Rock. If you haven't watched the previous episode, then, um... What was that? Well, you should probably do that. Especially considering it got absolutely no views. Literally no one watched it. That kind of... That hurts my feelings, guys. Come on. Well, whatever. All right, here we go. We're making our way through this. Yeah, no dust. Someone came through here already, dude. There's a another SMG here. Do I want to give up my grenade launcher? No, I want to keep my grenade launcher. I'm holding on to it. All right, let's see. I forgot how to play this game. I have not played it in a long time. So, essentially, um... We, um, we have come into this cave, we're trying to get back to our ship, and, you know, there's dinosaurs everywhere, and we're just trying to survive, and there is a dead Parasaurolophus. That is gross. What the heck? What is that? Is that space? That is a broken texture right there. That is a weird glitch. I have literally never seen that glitch before, of all my years playing this game. It is very spooky in here. Oh, sure. Just take the gun. Be selfish. Okay, fine. Whatever. Alright, here we go. Let's kill some dinos. Perfect. Alright. So, so, this level in the game has probably one of the coolest moments in the entire game. You get to fight a dinosaur that is just so cool looking. You guys will just have to wait and see. I'm not gonna spoil it. I want you guys to see it for the first time. Yeah, at this point in the uh, in the game, you're kinda just, oh gosh. Oh, Andy, 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 Andy. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, at this point in the game, we're just mostly fighting raptors. And raptors, you know, after a while, it can just kind of get annoying to have to fight raptors over and over again. Like, these three animations that happen whenever you kill a raptor just kind of get old after a while. But thankfully, there's a new type of dinosaur coming up soon, so that'll be fun. Just got to kill these last few velociraptors. Let's get out of here, here he says. I agree. Let's go. This cave level gets pretty annoying at one point, though, because I, you just get stuck at this part where there are a ton of enemies, and it's just very annoying. I'll try to find you on the other side. If I don't hear from you by sundown, I'm moving on. Okay, so what? We fell down. Now we're stuck even deeper in the cave, and honestly, I don't like the shotgun. The shotgun is, like, not that great. Although... It is useful because you can shoot a flare, and a flare can distract dinosaurs. So actually, on second thought, maybe I should go back and get the shotgun, although now the dinosaurs are trying to eat me, so I should probably just stay here and kill them. All right, hold your horses. This gameplay really isn't that hard. You just gotta wait for that little icon to come up, and then you can stab them in the face. Oh my gosh, bruh. There we go. Stab. Done. Come here. Come here. Oh, gosh. I'm not about to die now, am I? There we go. Stab. Stab. Wow, this is kind of getting tedious. Stab. Man, the knife really is the most overpowered weapon in the game. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, look at all these guys. Like, they are all just like... Oh, man, I'm wiping them out. Okay, chill out, chill out, chill, 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 chill. Oh, no. Oh, no. Left mouse button. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. You die. And now you die. Alright. Are you the last one? You better be the last one. There we go. Are you the last one? You better be the last one. Okay, we good? We good? I don't hear any other ones. I think that was it. I think we killed them all, which is good. Um... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to take. No, no, I want to hold on to the grenade launcher. Okay. 
you know what here i'll take the shotgun and i'll take it out for my smg because honestly i would prefer the shotgun over the smg the shotgun i don't know um it it's not a very good gun but the flare launcher is pretty oh i take it back never mind i killed that raptor in two shots Okay, never mind. Maybe this thing is a lot better than I thought it was. Maybe it's more powerful on the PC edition. Oh, they're eating that guy. Because on Xbox, the shotgun really isn't that good. But it seems to be way more powerful on the PC version. Oh my gosh. Like, this thing is actually overpowered. Like, on Xbox, I don't think it's this powerful. Or have I just been an idiot and not used the shotgun this whole time? I'm pretty sure I have used the shotgun. I remember not liking it, so... Who knows? Okay, here we go. We finally made it out of the cave. Now we can go and fight the next species of dinosaur that we are going to encounter. Hey, little fellas. Man, I again, this game looks amazing, especially for a game that came out in 2008. I wish that, like, you know, we would get another game like this today. Although... Oh, hold that thought. <clears throat> Good for you. Keep following the smoke if you want to catch up. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, on that note, as of recording this, a new Jurassic Park game has just been announced. Jurassic Park Survival. That's going to be awesome. There is a new Jurassic Park game coming out, and it's a survival game. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since we've gotten like a dinosaur survival game like this. Oh my gosh, I am excited for that game. But let's get back to reliving this old classic. Here we go. After we walk into this log, a giant dinosaur is going to appear and it is going to be the coolest thing ever. So essentially, if I shoot this new dinosaur that's going to appear with the grenade launcher, I should be able to knife it in the face, even though it's like an absolutely ginormous kind of dinosaur. But here we go. There it is. It's a Dilophosaurus. Hold on. Ooh, ooh, knife, 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 maybe, maybe. Nope, nope, never mind. Okay, that did not work. Dang it, I was hoping I could knife it. Okay, let me try that again. Oh, Lord. Hey, pal. Okay, here he comes. Oh, and these raptors are just gonna kill me. Not good. Oh, no, not good. Die. I wanted to kill the Dilo, not a bunch of raptors. Oh, Come on. All right, come here. Come here. Yes, I know, Slade. But just chill out, bruh. Oh, you got it. See, you're fine. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Hello, fella. You want to go, son? Oh, did I get him? Or is he alive? Nope, he, he, he's dead. Okay. Dang it. He, he didn't even blow up. Oh, come on. So, yeah, Dilophosaurus. No, I'm going to stay here because I want to talk about this amazing dinosaur. So, the Dilophosaurus. You may know it from Jurassic Park where it was the little dinosaur that could spit poison, had that frill that came out of its neck. But in this game, the Dilophosaurus are huge, which is more scientifically accurate. And excuse me, I am trying to talk to the viewers and you are trying to eat my face. How dare you do that? I know, right? Oh, come here. There we go. Stab him in the face. We good? So yeah, the Dilophosaurus in this game are absolutely huge, as you can see. They're kind of like giant raptors in a way. Although, fun fact for you all, Dilophosaurus in real life was actually like a really big predator. So the Dilophosaurus in this game are actually more scientifically accurate than the Dilophosaurus in Jurassic Park. Which is interesting, and there are a ton of raptors. I think they just infinitely spawn until you go and climb this ladder, so I'm gonna do that. Here we go. Oh. The Milky Bar Kid. Reese. God damn, am I glad to see you. Hey, Slade, how's it going? Really, really shitty. This planet sucks. I hear that. Hey, Reese, you headed for the smoke there? Wait up, Reese. Why are their voices echoing? And why are you coming up to me? 
Okay, cool. Yeah, back up. Back up, dude. Hey, you better run. Okay, cool. And then get out of here. Quit getting up all in my face, bro. Such a weirdo. Okie dokie. So, we have a new character. He's kind of like our sniper. And we do get to have a sniper of our own later on in the game. Oh, another peaceful para. A Parasaurolophus. I love those guys. Anyway, so this next part, this next, this, this next section of the game is pretty fun. You get to knife a bunch of dudes, which is pretty cool. Because the knife kill animations for the humans are pretty cool. There's a lot more knife kill animations for the humans than the dinosaurs. Looking forward to stabbing people in the back, just like Kane taught you. Tinorock, this is John Grimes. He's going to help you with the next stage of your training. How you doing, rookie? The Black Bear Indians believe that the knife possessed the power of a sly yet ferocious animal. Now you try. This is the most effective and dependable means of killing your enemy. It kills quietly and instantly, preventing your enemy from raising the alarm. Now, try it on me. Do it. You'll never be that good. Congratulations, Turok. You're now a member of Wolfpack. Well, there we go. We got a bit more backstory. Yeah, that guy, the Kane guy, he's like the main villain of this game. Although he doesn't have much characterization. We don't really know who he is, but who cares about the story? Let's just stab this guy in the face. Very cool. All right, here we go. We gonna stab all these guys in the face. Oh, there's one. Hey, fella, come here. Beautiful. Hide in the grass. I hear one. Where's the other one? Oh, there's one way over there. Okay, 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 okay. Come here. All right, here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that was so cool. Awesome. All right. Is that all of them? I'm pretty sure that is all of them, if I'm not mistaken. I think there's more of them, like, over here, but... Oh, oh, crap. Did he see me? I don't know if he saw me. I think we're good. Hold on, hold on. Is he is he gonna see me? Can he see me right now? I don't know if he can. Here he comes. Oh, oh, he saw me. He saw me, but I don't think he was able to raise the alarm, which is good. Oh my gosh, okay, I think we're good. Is there another one? No, there's not. I did it. I killed him. Oh, there's a dude up there. I'm going to get him with the bow and arrow. All right, let's see if I can get him. Oh, I got him. Sweet. Awesome. Well, I did good. Killed them all silently without them raising the alarm. We did good. Stealth operations, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. Here we go. The chopper's going to drop off a bunch of dudes. And I got to kill them all. Die. Die. I'm gonna take this guy's gun. Yes, the pulse rifle. That is what I want right there. Pulse rifle is great. Great gun. Honestly, now that I have the pulse rifle, I'm never gonna change it out for any other gun. The pulse rifle is literally, other than other than the knife, the pulse rifle is the most overpowered weapon in the game. It is just so powerful. Die. Yeah, in this game, there's not, like, a proper assault rifle. This is the closest thing you have to an assault rifle. Oh. Hey, fella. Die. That's right. Die. Say hello to my little friend. We're doing really good here. We're doing real good. Oh. Ooh, I'm going to take your ammo. Perfect. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Oh, crap. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Okay, got that guy. Oh, he's not dead? I shot him like 15 times. There we go. 
Now he's dead. I know, right? Okay, you're dead. Oh, hi. Okay, you're dead. Oh, hi. Oh yeah, you do have a situation here. I am the situation. Cool. All right, we did it. I'm kind of impressed with myself because usually that takes me like multiple attempts to get past that part because it is just a very difficult section of the game. The stealth part is pretty easy, but the part where you have to shoot all the dudes up on the hill, like, that is pretty difficult. So I'm kind of impressed with myself that I was able to do that with no deaths. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, we get introduced to another new dinosaur species. Oh. Something is getting killed up there, and there's a dead raptor right here. There's a blood trail that leads all the way up the tree. So yeah, we get introduced to a new type of dinosaur. And this one's pretty cool too. I'm pretty sure these dinosaurs though, they're fictional. They're not based on any real dinosaur species in real life. I'm pretty sure they just made them up for the game. But I mean, they're still pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure. Yep, here we go. Man, they are way uglier on the PC version. Oh my gosh, their designs are like way worse on this version of the game. Oh my gosh. Well, so like they're essentially tree climbing dinosaurs. They're dinosaurs that can hide in the treetops. They can climb trees. They're really fast. And that's pretty much what they are. I'm pretty sure they're called the stalkers or the lurkers. Oh gosh. Hey, buddy. Oh, no, 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 no. Get off me. Get off me. And then stab him in the face. Perfect. So yeah, they're like quadrupedal, like, dinosaurs that can climb trees. So they're, they're kind of interesting. Although they have kind of derpy faces. And on the Xbox 360 version of this game, they don't really have derpy faces. So I don't know why, but the PC version of these dinosaurs, they, their designs just aren't as good. Whoa. Man, those things are well, that was good. Our friend just sniped that one. Um, yeah, let's just keep walking. Oh, there's one over there on the tree. Is he gonna come down? You gonna come down from there, or are you just gonna sit up there? Oh, okay, I'm just gonna shoot you with a grenade then. Yeah, there we go. Blew him up into a million pieces. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, man. Well, look at that. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, hey, buddy. Come here. That's right. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here before more of them show up. Come here. Kick it and then stab it in the skull. Oh, and the camera angle glitched. Eh, whatever. Okay, I think we're almost to the ship wreckage which is kind of where the story of this game kind of takes a different turn. It becomes... It becomes less of a point A, point B journey, and it's more about trying to just get off the planet. Here we are. We got more ship wreckage. We're almost to the ship. And here we are. We made it. Holy shit, look what the cat right did. Found it. Hey guys, oh, it's good to Where see you. Been, you guys. Hey Slade, look what I found. Now we're talking. Yo, have you seen the dinosaurs, man? Hell yeah, I've been blasting lizards all morning. But now I can barbecue. What the hell's with all the troops? Kane's got a goddamn army down here. Yeah, we fought off one of their patrols a few hours ago. They'll be back. The problem is we're seriously low on ammo and half our guys are MIA. Let's get this place secured just in case Kane's men do show up. You heard the man! Let's get this place secured! Logan, are you good to go? 
I was gonna have to hit you just when we crash. It's just a scrape, sir. I'm fine. Really? All right. You need to least check out some of the other wrecking sites. We need ammo and supplies. Turok, I want us off this goddamn planet ASAP. What about Kane? Forget Kane. We're in survival mode. I need you to search the surrounding area for the ship's long-range comms so we can call in an extraction. I'm on it. Well, okay, cool then. So, we have to go out and find the comm unit, which is a thing that we can, it's a device that will allow us to call for a ship to come in and rescue us. Ghost in the shadow. Well, we made it to the next level, although I'm going to go ahead and call this episode as over for now because I'm experimenting because the last Turok video got like no views and I wonder if it's because it was too long. So I'm going to call this one early. So if you want to see more Turok videos, then please subscribe, leave a like and, you know, comment down below. So that way I know that this, this series actually has some fans and some followers because, um, you know, last video, last episode didn't get like any views. So if you're watching this, then please do go back and watch the previous episode. So that way, you know, I can get my views up. But with all that being said, please subscribe if you feel like it, because it would really help me out. Click the little bell notification button and um, I will see you all in the next video. So thank you for watching and bye-bye.